Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Mina channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite characters on recent memory, and in fact, one of my favorite characters, period. Uh, overall, this is going to be a spoilery video, so obviously if you can tell by the thumbnail and everything, I will be talking about spoilers and stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, uh, Persona 5 Rojo was a massive success in a lot of different aspects, but one of the things that I really feel that really moved this game forward and really helped kind of get this game all together is... Maruki, Takuto Maruki, one of the new, uh, one of the new characters, but also the newest villain in the series. Now, I wouldn't really call it a villain, let's back it up here, the newest antagon antagonist in the series. So, first of all, let's go ahead and define both villain and antagonist, so we can move this forward, and then I will talk about why I think this character, and what moment really, really changed me as far as, like, why I, I think this character worked so well for the series. So, Villain is a bad guy. Villain is the evil whatever. It, it can be a uh, somebody that is an assassin, somebody that kills millions of people, or somebody that just steals the lunch from the main character or something like that. So that's the that's the the villain, the bad guy. Now, the difference between a bad guy and an antagonist is the antagonist isn't always a bad person. An antagonist can be just somebody that opposes the main character in some kind of way, the protagonist. So why the protagonist is usually a good guy, however the protagonist can be the villain and the antagonist can be the good guy. For example, Death Note is a really good example of that. Uh, Death Note, the protagonist is Light, who is obviously a bad guy, and L is the antagonist, however he is not the villain, he is the good guy, the, the guy, the hero, or whatever you want to call it. So there's a lot of games that uh, do a really good dynamic between good and evil or that kind of stuff like that and i do have another video coming out soon regarding justice i will bring that up in in the next couple of weeks and everything i just have so many videos going on right now um but one of the best dynamics in the game and one of the things about it is the relationship or the main character's relationship with Takuto Maruki. Why is that? Maruki originally comes in into the picture as this counselor that comes in because of the events from Persona 5 uh, when it comes to what happened in the first dungeon. Uh, so you had a really, really piece of shit uh, teacher that was sexually abusing people that he literally pushed one of the characters into trying to commit suicide and now the school decided that it was a good idea to hire somebody like a counselor to help students come to cope with what happened you know so if you were in school and something like this happened a lot of people will be kind of like traumatized or almost kind of having their own issues to deal with this you know is there any other teachers that are doing things like that uh, you know there's a lot of different ways that they can cover themselves and kind of like start to find out if there's any other students dealing with other issues and that kind of stuff having counselors in america is normal a lot of people a lot of schools have counselors in them but a lot of countries don't have anything like that uh, i i don't uh, i don't recall from memory when when i was in mexico if they had anything even close to that so to a lot of people it made sense maybe in the u.s but having a counselor in school it may be in japan or other areas uh there is something almost like a disconnect like it's a big deal for them to hire somebody particularly just to help with mental health mental health around the world is still really almost unknown a lot of people deal with mental health or some countries even in a really negative light they don't really appreciate or even understand mental health as kind of almost this thing like an illness you know mental Mental illness is a thing, it's just like having cancer or having any other uh, disease. You know, diseases can be physically and you can see them, but mental health is a completely different deal in a different light uh, that a lot of people don't really recognize. For example, a lot of people go undiagnosed from things like ADHD or depression or anxiety because they don't understand and the people around them don't really either. So hiring a counselor in a high school setting may not be new or interesting to you, but maybe in a setting like Japan or even in Latin America, it's a big deal because it doesn't it's something that doesn't really happen often. So Maruki comes into the picture as somebody that is there to help people and he immediately strikes a connection with you and your group because you guys are the main people affected what what happened and one you had a big relationship with the teacher who was sexually abusing one of the students but also you have 
a media connection with each other. For example, Anne was best friends with a girl. Uh, you and our new person in, in there, you're literally the newest person there. And you have your own issues coming into somebody that has a um, record. And now a lot of people looking bad at you and everything like that. So obviously you will be approached by this kind of person. Can I find out what's going on with you? And I immediately fell in love with this character. The character is really patient. His soundtrack in the background, uh, real and ideal, really just kind of has this person that uh, is chill and relaxed and is here to listen to your problems. If you're being in counseling or, or therapy, he is literally how you want as a therapist, somebody that will listen to you and hear you out. Now, whether he's a good therapy or uh, pissed or not, I, I will I have, I have made a, a separate video talking about it, so I'm not really gonna get into the nitty and gritty of why I don't think he's that really good therapist but he is a really good written character for somebody that is, some, somebody that is there to help and the more you know about his character the more you see him progress uh, as he meets different characters as he talks to them and everything you really see that this person has the best interest for the students and for the people that he's met so far uh, so the biggest turning point for me or the biggest point where this person became just a likable character to a really deep interesting character is when you go into uh, knowing his background knowing what happened to him and knowing why he's doing the things that he's doing at some point it is revealed that his girlfriend um, was traumatized by some incident that happened before and she almost couldn't deal with this stuff she was dealing with a lot of depression and a lot of anxiety and she was almost like unable to come back to reality because she was so shaken by it um being, seeing his girlfriend seeing what he was she was going through and everything he decided to do a really noble thing um, being able to use his power to change her cognition in a way that she will forget about the events however unfortunately while she did he did that he ended up making her forget him uh, now at that point that was a really interesting aspect because um out of all the characters that you see in the show uh, or in, in the um game this this is the only character where you almost feel like he's selfless to a fault you know well this person is willing to sacrifice himself and his relationship with Rumi to be able to make her happy in a sense that he can remove himself of the picture and she's still able to move on in some kind of way uh that that to me that was the point where i felt that this character uh, was n not only just a good guy or a, a guy that cares but somebody that is really willing to use every inch of his power to do something that no one else is willing to do whether well, it's right or wrong and we can argue this all day but again this is not a video for that but i do like how his character is just almost willing to do something that nobody else or not a lot of people are really willing to go forward um, making people just forget about you so they can be happy it's a really uh, hard thing to do letting go of somebody that you love is really hard and being able to him being able to kind of do that uh, for her for the good of somebody else is not only selfless but it's also a really good quality and really interesting in a lot of different aspects um, it does open a completely different dynamic it opens a lot of different possibilities as you see the game progress and you see this character who is flawed uh, for different reasons, but is also a really uh, interesting character, somebody that, that is unique to the setting particularly. Um, the game deals with a lot with desires. It deals with a lot of different uh, aspects, different types of corruptions. People get their heart corrupted for a lot of different ways. You deal with people who are pedophiles, who are corrupt, who are... Uh, who steal from others who uh, I mean they do all kinds of crazy stuff uh, people in all the villains that you meet throughout the game have some really bad characteristics to them they almost make them feel like cartoon villains people in a one note they're just straight up bad and sure the game does try their best to humanize them or kind of give that perspective to these characters but at the end of the day nothing really excuses for their behavior nothing really excuses them to why they're such pieces of shit however on the other dynamic you have the, the biggest 
uh, or the newest um, villain, if you want to call it that, the newest person who is the antagonist, come up and he's a good person. He's somebody that is trying to do something good. And the dynamic between your people, your main character, the group of Phantom Thieves who are also trying to do a good thing, it clashes and it just brings an interesting dynamic between the two of them. It's not good versus evil, it's a gray area. And this is why I think Persona 5 Royal works as a whole, because it is just not black and white. Life isn't black and white. Life isn't a dynamic between good and evil, but in reality is a debate between different schools of thoughts, different imagine, uh, different types of good. You know, this isn't just bad. This isn't just good. It's just a different type of good setup, different approaches to the same thing. In fact, the, the uh, main character and, and Joker isn't so different from each other. I'm sorry, Joker. Um, Maruki isn't so different from each other. They both have the power to change uh, and do some good for people. And they are both taking that and doing that change for exactly different reasons. They are both they're very different type of characters. But at the end of the day, they both are trying to do the good for people. And in a moral sense, they have a very different dynamic. Now, I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to do a part two of this video talking about justice and their version of justice. This is going to be a completely different subject. But today I wanted to make sure I came across and brought my feelings on why I think uh, Maruki is the best written character in Persona 5 Strike. Uh, Royal. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. If you're new, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.